Searching for roots music. This video finds us in southern Louisiana with the Cajuns, the prairie Cajuns, that is. There's also a group called the Bayou Cajuns who live more in the south around uh, New Orleans. Uh, the Cajun people hail originally from France through the then went to the maritime provinces in Canada and then moved down to Louisiana. Not a free choice. The English weren't very nice to them, but that's well, water under the bridge, that's right? That's another story. Anyway, now they are in Louisiana, but they still hold on to their culture as far as cuisine, language, and music is concerned. Uh, we, were, we were in a campground and at night it smelled quite delicious. Mm -hmm. They have special spices, they have big pots of crawfish and all kinds of other delic delicacies. Um, I even took a cooking class and learned how to make etouffee. They also have a really delicious sausage made with rice. The boudin. The boudin. Oh, man. Mm. Yeah, so, you know, we, we had a good time as far as that's concerned. They also still speak French and really try to maintain that, uh, you know, aside from, of course, English speaking. But we were there for the music. Yep. And it's wonderful music. Uh, it centers around, the Cajun music centers around a little accordion, diatonic, which means you cannot play it in every key. So a lot of players have multiple instruments that they switch. Uh, they like to play uh, high because of the, uh, the vocal style, so they often have a, an instrument that is tuned in D. Mm -hmm. uh, the lyrics are all in, in, in French, in Cajun French, which Phil plays in a very important role in a lot of bands and very often the, the, the fiddle player and the, um, and the accordion player will take turns in, in playing solos or breaks as they say in bluegrass. Mm -hmm. um, other instruments may include acoustic guitar, electric guitar, drums, bass guitar, keyboard. Uh, yeah, they play a lot of waltzes um, and the formation may, may be from just a simple acoustic band to really what borders on, on rock. Um, the goal is the same though, uh, they play dance music and wherever they play people dance and they almost have to dance because it, it's very electrifying music and you see folks of every age group uh, dancing to that music. You see parents with kids on their arms and, and this and the other and that, that really is, 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 as far as I'm concerned, a, a very nice feature of mm -hmm. Cajun music. Yes, on Saturday morning we were at Fred's, which is a place in Mamou, small village north of Eunice. And it starts at nine. The music starts at nine. And the beer and, flows at nine. And the dancing starts at nine. Also, due to Rita, we, who she is, she's a feature there. She's eighty-five. She looks like sixty and gets everybody going. Asks everybody to dance. She won't stop. She dances from nine to one yeah. p.m. At night, we were at a barn dance, and all the families that were there, and everybody in multiple generations dancing together. So. You know, it, it was it was a great time. If you're ever in the area, please you know visit and listen to some music, eat some of the food. Uh, it's it's really well worth it. Yeah. And in the meantime, please take note of the music in your own life. Yeah. Great, a great accordion builder, a beautiful woodworker. Yeah, it's gorgeous. He does a great job. Yeah. And he made this one in 1990, so it's quite a few years old, but it still looks like the day he made it. And we call these stops. Oh, stops, yeah, yeah. okay. And there, there's four rows of reeds. You got a bass reed, uh -huh. a treble, uh, treble row, yeah. and two, two in the middle. And when they tune them, 
to push three out of the four down yeah. and choose one row. Oh. Then you change rows. Yeah, yeah. Well, sometimes we, we might play a song where we would take the bass out yeah. and it makes this trampoline sound. Yeah. So there are a couple of songs you can play that you want to trampoline sound versus the normal. Left hand play some bass notes. Some chords, actually. Awesome. Then there's the air button. Because a, yeah, yeah. a lot of songs you play pushing uh -huh. and you run out of air. So you have to keep and grab some air every now and then. You and you pump it in. Yeah. If you play, there's a lot of pulling notes. Yeah. So you, when you hit a pushing note, yeah. you want to add, take some air off. It's very, very simple, but I don't know, I guess it's kind of complicated. So yeah. It's a diatonic, a diatonic accordion. Yeah. Different than a Lawrence Welk piano accordion. Yeah. Diatonic, like, like a harmonica. Yeah, yeah. When you push a note and you blow air through it, yeah. push air out of it, it plays one note. You push the same button and you pull, yeah. it plays a different note. Right. The same note. And it's tuned in what key? This is a key of D. Uh, we like the key of D because it's a really high up. Yeah. Not upbeat, but uh, high uh, tone. Yeah. We have a great singer that, that sings good in the high notes. Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, I'm truly looking forward to it. Thank you so much. Okay, enjoy. Oh, I will. I know. <laughs>
Oh yeah, okay, yeah. <laughs>